Hey there everyone, Honey here. Welcome back to Stellaris. Last episode, we did a little exploring. We uh, surveyed a couple of different places. And we, uh... We're, we're colonizing over here, I believe. Right? I think we're sending a colony ship somewhere over here. Anyway, um... Where is the colony ship? Let's see, let's see... Yes, the colony ship, we're heading out over to here. We are going to colonize this planet first. Place colony, huh? Unpause. We're going to see how things are doing over here. We have a, we have a colony ship. ship, and we have found at least one suitable candidate for a permanent extrasolar outpost. I see no reason to delay further. Let's establish our first colony. Already working on it, man. You're building our frontier outpost. How's the research going on this? Almost done. Special project complete. Nice. Science officer Bokai Boki has returned from the expedition that studied the rich biosphere in the seas beneath the ice mantle of Zygmunt. He's named it. Uh, partially my fault, probably, because of the, uh, the race I'm playing. Our underwater probes have mapped the terrain and cataloged most of the life forms. Although this data may be, may be of some use to our biologists, no particular discoveries have been made that would have any applications beyond that. Congratulations on having colonized a new world. Our colonists are now in the process of building their first settlement, but it will take time for them to become self-sufficient. Guard around to guard against predators. 
the ship has been permanently converted into the administrative headquarters of the new settlement and its reactor core is in the process of being removed so that it may serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents and prefab shelters have sprung up around the former starship's massive hull. As colonists began to disembark in large numbers, the first Cthulhu city on an alien world. Our hardy pioneers are establishing a foothold on this planet. Process costs 8 power each month and will take approximately 12 months to complete. Done. I should probably send you elsewhere now, shouldn't I? Go survey here. It's a class F star. Class G. Class M, Class F. None of these worlds are habitable, so once this is done, you're gonna go around establishing uh, mining and stuff. <laughs> Excuse me. Research complete. New research. What do we got? Defense platforms. Corvette assembly yards. Two modules and allow the construction of destroyers. Ooh, yes, do that. How's it going? Almost there. Search complete. Let's see. The spaceport tab is where we view orbiting fleets, build new ships, and upgrade. This is where we manage all ground forces on this planet. Oh, the upper an portion anomaly. of this view is divided into three sections. The top section represents the orbital space above the planet. The middle section yeah. is the atmosphere, and the bottom section is the surface. Research. Do that. 
Yes. Wait, there are society technologies available for research. Oh, okay. Unlocks clearing tile blockers. Noxious swamp removal. Let's see. Leader lifespan plus 10 years. Able capacity increase. I'd say that's probably a good investment. How's this going? As if storms are visible in the upper atmosphere of this gas giant, it may be worth the effort to study them a bit in a bit more detail. seems to be spreading. That's cool. How are things going in here? Ah, Sovel 5 frequently experiences massive and extremely violent storm systems. In its atmosphere, several dozen persistent storms are visible from orbit, with winds often reaching speeds in excess of 700 miles a second. Damn. The course of these storms is not immediately apparent. The cause of these storms is not immediately apparent, as we have noth found nothing in the planet's climate module that would explain them. Our scientists are interested in studying this anomaly. Construction complete. bonus to our Alright. Research complete. Well once this ends we'll have uh energy. 
birth of space piracy, certain international Certain irrational and criminal elements of our society have left Alvo to seek out and seek an outlaw's life in the far reaches of space. In a display of surprising ingenuity, these brigands have heavily modified and weaponized a large number of civilian starships. Our civilian shipping lanes are now being raided by this improvised star fleet which identifies only as the Vagabonds. Prompt response is needed. Well, where are they? Extrasolar yes. colony. This means that if our homeworld were to spontaneously combust, your species would no longer be rendered extinct. That is a comforting thought, wouldn't you say? Very nice. Physics research. Let's see. ship to an artificial intelligence, the crew and colonists can be suspended in a deep sleep. Let's go with that for now. Hostile fleet detected. To help our new colony along, we should consider the recruitment of a planetary governor to oversee operations there. System survey complete.
upgrading ships is at 70%. Station under attack. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. Good. Oh yeah, we're good. We're golden, man. And these guys are actually beating them down. Surprising. Oh, but they're also getting beat. Updated. Encountered some form of alien vessel in the Robalius system. Strange has been called Delta Aliens. Evading yeah. hostile fleet. Robalius has hostile fleets. Oh my. It's not good. Run, man, run. Yeah, our guys. Our guys made it here. Come on, Situation baby. log updated. Hostile fleet detected. Big bombs detected Umic system. What? Oh my, that's that's not good. What's going on here? They're warping now. Let's see what's going on over here. Vessels just uh, mining platforms. No, those are actual ships. Let's see what they do.
Oh, they're not actually doing anything, so... Let's head over here. system. Not really small system, only one planet with a bunch of moons. It's a gas giant with some moons. Habitable. Hmm. Alright, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna have the science ship come over here. Survey system. going here. Research complete. stations. It's that time anyway. So if you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving it a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more content in the future. And until next time, everybody, have a good one. I'll see you later. Bye.